Welcome back to Sous Vide Everything, guys. Today we got a Latin twist on a steak, and I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. For today's cook, I'm gonna be using these beautiful prime New York strip. As I mentioned before, I'm really against pre searing the steaks before adding it to the bag. I've done a lot of experiments, and you can check it out in the description down below later on. However, for today's steak, I do need that caramelization that comes with only searing the steak, so I'm shaving a little piece off and it is a very small piece. I am seasoning these steaks with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. If you are from any country in Latin America, you know you can smell the bistan cebollado, which is steak with onions a mile away. And here in Miami, it's no different. We have this type of steaks everywhere. And I'm gonna make one for you today, and here's my take on it. The first thing I like to do is sear a very thin part of my steak so that I get those little wonderful bits of flavor from the steak. Check it out. Now this is what you want. Do not use a non-stick pan. You want that goodness from the pan to stick to the pan so that you can flavor your onions with it. Now throw in the onions, put it on low heat and let it simmer until it comes completely translucent. To get all that flavor out of the pan, I am deglazing it with cooking wine. You can use any other type of liquid you like, even chicken stock. Nice seasoned with salt and pepper and our caramelized onions are done. To elevate this dish a little bit more, I am doing my take on creme de cebola and let me show it to you how it is. I started off by chopping up all those little bits left over from the previous steaks, added a little bit of olive oil, throw in some white sweet onions, add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, season it with salt and pepper, mix it well until it's translucent. Then I threw in a little bit of cooking wine, burn off the alcohol and deglaze the pan. Once it's translucent, go ahead and throw in a little bit of ricotta cheese and mix it well. Put your stove on low and let it simmer down. To finish it off, add a little bit of butter. Once the butter has melted, go ahead and throw in your bits of steaks. Put it on the food processor and blend it well. If your sauce is too thick, throw in a little bit of whole milk to get the consistency you like. Be sure to taste for seasoning as you go. If you need a little bit more salt, just go ahead and throw it on. Give one final taste for seasoning and your sauce is done. Now Mau Mau is in a keto diet, so I decided to make some keto rice for him. Let me show it to you. I started off by chopping up some cauliflower, pulsing in your food processor until you get the consistency of rice. Then I season it with black pepper, a little bit of cayenne, garlic powder, smoked paprika, salt, and mix it well. Then in a pan, I threw a little bit of olive oil and cooked it until most of the water evaporated. Then I buttered a baking tray, threw in half of the cauliflower rice, add some mozzarella, the rest of the cauliflower rice, some sharp cheddar cheese, and our cauliflower rice is done. All we have to do is bake it until the cheese melts down. I'm reheating the sauces and cooking the steaks at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for two and a half hours. I know where you're thinking, Guga, there's three steaks, what happened? Exactly. Last night, when I looked at the steaks, I said, you know what, we are pretty big boys and two is not gonna be enough. So I made one extra and it's going to be our control. But anyway, like always, I'm gonna pet it dry so we can get a wonderful sear on these steaks. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our toppings on them. And I know they don't look that good right now, but watch this. Alright 
All right, Ninja, we have two different types of steaks today. I want to know which one you like best. I am not going to tell you an order, so you can pick your own order. Which one would you like to try first? <laughs> uh, which one is A and which one is B? I don't know. We're going to pick whatever <laughs> one you decide first. A is the first one that you pick, Ninja. Exactly. All right, let's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Which one look better, guys? Which one look better? Which one should I get first? That one look good, bro. Yeah, okay, there. All right, go for it. You want to try this one first? Let me know what you think. Mm. How do you like it? Really tender, really flavorful, really good. Really good steak. This is the way I like it. Okay, all right, you enjoy that one then? Yeah. All right, does it remind you of any Latin flavor? Yes, it does. It does, because we Latins over here in Miami, every time you go to a restaurant, everybody, they have what's called bistec cebollado, which is a lot of onions. Let's go for the second one, tell me what you think. All right, go for the second one. Get some, some of that goodness there. You tricked me. What do you mean? He tricked me. I'm a bitch better, bro. Ah, <laughs> he picked the order, not me. No, 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 no. Which he, one is better? Me. You tricked me. Which one is better? Number B is better, bro. Number B. Number okay. B. Very good. I love the sauce. Of course, the sauce is better than just onions. It's freaking good. All right, my turn. We call it bifa cebolado. It's very traditional in Brazil as well. Cheers. Very Latin flavor, let me tell you. Mm, delicious. Let's go for the second one, everybody. Let me tell you something. When you're making this, everybody, you have to taste it. And as you taste it, you know, you adjust the salt just like I did in the video. And trying it last night, oh boy, fantastic. Let's see with the steak. Mm, that is good. That is good. Mama, what do you think? Okay, all right, okay. I gotta try the other one. Does, you, does it remind you of Brazil, mama? Yes, definitely. Go for the second one. Second. Mm -hmm. Wow. That cream makes a difference, boy. Ah, you like the cream, mama? That cream is amazing. Ooh. Mama? Mm -hmm. Mama, only for you, I made cauliflower rice because we have the mm -hmm. real deal right here. Jasmine rice from Publix. The real deal is the real deal, bro. But now we're gonna have you try it. Go for it, Mama. You and you're gonna be the judge. Yeah, Last time you made me feel really bad that you didn't eat anything I made because you're on your keto diet. Now we were curious to find out if this is good. Yeah, I wanna try it too, man. You wanna try it too? Go for it, yeah, yeah, man. Go, grab it. I'm gonna go keto for five seconds here, okay? But first, let Mama enjoy. Right. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama, tell me. Oh, you have cheese in the middle too? Mama? Ooh. <laughs> I gotta get my pills. Mm. Is it good, Mama? Oh, yeah. How is it? Thank you. This is delicious. Oh, made wow. Mama happy today. It made me so happy. I'm smiling. I don't think you're gonna like it better than rice, but let's give it a good try. Okay, imagine you cannot have rice. Oh wow, it's good. This is really good, bro. Tell us the truth. Compare. This is jasmine rice, okay? This is not regular rice. It's... What's the difference between jasmine rice? It's a big difference there, bro. Huge difference. Tell me the truth on that one. Smell. <laughs> ah. Do not lie. Which one is better? I'm not gonna be keto, bro. But it's good, mama. Oh yeah, you put something spicy over there cause, yeah. You feel that cayenne pepper? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Mama is going for seconds. Mm. I guess it's good, Mama. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mama love it, that's all it that matters. Mama, I wanted to take good care of you because I know you're dying on your diet. Thank you, cuz. Uh -huh. Yeah, Mama is dying and he is very limited on what he can eat. And he's, I... he's serious with that. Mama, should they give it a try? Tell them the truth. Oh yeah, give it a try, guys. There you go, guys. If you're on keto diet, this is a good alternative to rice. However, if you're not on a keto diet, <laughs> eat the jasmine rice. <laughs> It's awesome. And also guys, if you are trying the Latin steak, definitely give it a try. I'm gonna call this one creme de cebola. That's the name of it, which is in Brazil. It means cream of uh, onions. Onion cream. Onion cream. 
Okay, onion cream, whatever you want to call it. So, turned out really good. Give it a try. We definitely recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you're interested in anything I use, everything is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Mm. Mama is attacking oh. the kettle rice, huh, Mama? <laughs> guys, if you guys never had it before, Okay, here's the thing. It tastes like cauliflower, but cauliflower doesn't really taste like anything. So you can use it to do a bunch of different things. And the texture is just like rice. I agree with that one. I just tried it as well, everybody. It's just like rice. The texture right, is just like rice. I got a question. Can you do arroz con pollo with that? Chicken with rice? It's probably good. That's I'm, awesome. <laughs> I'm going to make Arroz Imperial for you, Mama. Ooh, that's, that's, that's it right there. Dude. If you guys want to see Arroz Imperial, let me know, we're gonna make it. Are you ready for that, Mama? Mm, no, I'm not ready for that. Mm. That's gonna be too much for me. So it's good? It's delicious. Delicious. Oh, he even said a nice delicious today. He's excited because he got to eat something more than just mm. steak, huh, Mama? Oh. <laughs> Do you approve? Mau Mau approved.